few have had as celebrated a career as Chris Jericho. Jericho is an expert uh. aerial, superb mat technician, and a master manipulator. And to be very clear, few are as dangerous. The thing about this match is I can't envision these competitors ever giving up. It's just not in their DNA. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him one of WWE's most enduring superstars. Look, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up the Y2J, Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho in permanent ink. I thought it was just a rumor. He's going for it. Suplex spiked. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Got the leg. Oh. oh, what an uppercut. Gonna be woozy after that impact. Corey, Chris Jericho simply oozes talent. So much so, in fact, that the man is a rock star both in and out of the ring. And for the avoidance of doubt, ladies and gentlemen, Cole means that literally. Not only is Y2J the man in the ring, but he also is the front man for his own heavy metal. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at this, look at this. There's absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. As Corey mentioned, when Jericho is not competing at WWE events, there's a good chance he's touring with his band. Given how dedicated he is to both, I would say Y2J... Busiest guys in all of sports. Here he goes. Working on the leg. He's back in control here. A move like that can almost snap a superstar in half. Northern Lights. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. The yes lock is in. The yes lock is in. Unreal. Just wearing down the opponent. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Elbow drop, big time! Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment they've received in the match. That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win an I quit match by using the submission maneuver. For superstars who are proficient in submission moves, they enter this type of match at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean they can't win, but they need to perfect applying the submission move quickly. Come on, Corey, try and keep up. We saw perhaps the greatest one-night performance in WrestleMania history when Daniel Bryan won in both the show opening and main event matches at WrestleMania. Chris Jericho's face took the brunt of that shot. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Michael brought up Daniel Bryan's performance at WrestleMania 30, and those two matches were not short of top competition. Bryan took on Triple H first, with the winner getting a main event slot. After defeating Triple H, he took on Randy Orton and Batista for the WWE Championship. Well, in both matches, Bryan had the odds stacked against him. In fact, the main event often approximated a handicap match. However, the leader of the Yes Movement prevailed and left the grandest stage of the hall with WWE's biggest prize. When this guy's on, look out. 
When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, set the standard. It was WrestleMania 13. Brett the Hitman Hart was... He's looking at it. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Steve Austin at WrestleMania 13. Oh, the yes lock is cinched in. Is he going to... Oh, dropped in the cross face. That's what he was looking for, Michael. There's the tap. There's the tap. This one's over. Submission matches are all about imposing your will on your opponent, as we can see right here. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't actually set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. to the heart. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. <laughs> Impressive combination kicks. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? <laughs> That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. This night could be over for Chris Jericho. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't Ouch. attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze his opponents like a set of bagpipes. Byron, this metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. Beautiful technique. You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. And he misses the mark. Talk about a rough landing. What a throw. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while chapter one didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a foreshadowing of his future success. Oh, even Mr. McMahon himself called McIntyre a future world champion, which of course later came true in 2017 when McIntyre defeated Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. Championship somehow eluded Roman Reigns, but that all changed in November 2017 when the Big Dog defeated the Miz to capture the title. And not only 
only did that victory over the Miz give Reigns the Intercontinental Championship, Michael, but it also made him a prestigious Grand Slam champion. Taking off his feet here, and it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. As Saxton stated not too long ago, Reigns' Intercontinental Championship victory made him a Grand Slam champion. And the ironic thing is, the win came against... Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The old air raid siren. I don't know how you survive that. I can't believe it, Michael. All that's left now is for McIntyre to finish this. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be nasty. This is going to be bad. Watch the impact. Somebody here pops. We might be looking at a new champ. His shoulders are down. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and aftershock DDT. Oh, what impact. We've got a cover. slow count. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Look out! Looks to me, guys, like the champ has no plans on losing the title anytime soon. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Axe handle finds its target. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He knows he's in trouble. He can't withstand one bit more. Look at this. That's how you stop your opponent. That'll slow Drew McIntyre down a bit. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy. Here's the pin. Title on the line. No early kick out. Not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He might have it. Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The old Raid Siren. I don't know how you survived that. What an assault on Roman Reigns. Future shot. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. to the entire locker room with that win. Call animal control. Someone just claimed Roman Reigns' yard here tonight.
The action we see in every...